1982 song, Vacation by the Go-Go's, would have you believe that vacation is all we ever wanted. If that's the case, we're not doing a very good job of trying to get to that goal. A new study from job site Glassdoor says that fully two-thirds of Americans report working when they are on vacation. So why can't we just unplug? Joining us now is productivity and time management expert Steve McClatchy. He's the founder of Alir Training and Consulting. And Steve, the study finds that we're, we're really just not, we're not willing to completely let go of work. What, what, what did you half, find? Half of Americans are not taking their vacation. Half. I can't believe the results of that study. And 66% of people that do take a vacation work while they're on vacation. Why do you think that is? It's not that we don't want the vacation time. It's yeah, like and this trend is getting stronger and stronger um, each and every year. You know, it, the, what's cited as reasons as to why people don't take their vacation, number one, is they don't want to fall behind at work. Right. I mean, you can relate to that. You're coming back to a landslide, right, right of what you've fallen behind on, and there's consequences to that. Um, they don't believe other people can do the job as well as them, so when they come back, they've got to deal with the consequences of their job not being right. done as well. Um, they might miss out on a big opportunity at work while they're... FOMO, on vacation. FOMO, FOMO yeah. right? Fear of missing out uh, on a big opportunity at work. Um, and the perception that they're not fully committed to their job because they're on vacation. So all of that, really at the heart of all of that is the fear of but the consequences. But all of that's real. I know it is. And what they're doing is prioritizing the consequences of, the, of, that, of those things right. over the benefits of going on the vacation. So at the heart of the decision not to go is the fear of those consequences. Is, is this something that got worse during the Great Recession, where, where it really was the job hirers market, not, not the employee? You, you know, job security? I mean, we're post-recession. We're still in that world, and that mindset is real. And if you disappear for a week and no one missed you, right. maybe There's a we problem. can go longer than a well, week. So, but then how can, you, how can you properly encourage vacation if that's the truth? And that is the truth. That that's is the truth. It's absolutely true. So what are we missing? The benefits of going on vacation. Which the benefits are to not only the person, but I would guess to the employer as well. And your customers. And well, we have to look at what are the benefits. So we, we, our, our weapon against fear is desire. Right? We desire vacations because they're exciting. If you don't plan an exciting vacation, right, you're missing the whole opportunity. So when you don't have excitement in your life, what happens when you go that, that route for too long? You end up burned out. And now when you're burned out, what happens? The quality of your work goes down. You start falling behind at work. You're disengaged so people don't see that you're fully committed. The same things that we're trying to prevent by not going on vacation is what we create when we don't go on vacation. So the employers who are watching this program, you would advise them to push their employees to go on, on vacation? Eighty percent of the people that responded in the survey said that if their boss fully supported vacations, they would go on vacation. So if you're an employer, you're a boss, and you realize the benefits of, of retaining your top talent, of keeping that talent balanced and not burned out, you're going to support, encourage, endorse going but on a vacation. Let's say, not telling let's, somebody when they want to go on vacation, you can't. Right. Well, so let's, but here's the question. Let's say your we boss doesn't really want you to go on vacation. So you, let's say you have, you, you have not successfully yeah. persuaded uh, these, a lot, there's a lot of bosses that still don't agree or accept this. If you're the employee, what do you do about it? Okay, so 25% of the respondents said their boss contacted them while they were on their vacation. Yeah. So not only do they not endorse it, they, they're really pulling them back off vacation. Bingo. So it's real. It's real. So, so then what? So then what happens? So you don't really refresh, replenish, go on a vacation where you really let go of work and really enjoy right, no, it and got into the mindset. What are you supposed to do when the boss calls you on vacation? Right. You should have prevented that from happening up front. Well, how do, we, how do you do that? Okay. So there's some things you can do before you go on vacation that will prep that. And the first thing is set boundaries, set expectations, and let everyone know you're going on vacation. One of the things that happens is we spring a vacation on everyone at the last minute, and the work that you could have been doing all week to prepare so they weren't reaching out to you while you were on your vacation, now you've missed that opportunity to do it. Right. And then we don't set the, 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 the ground rule. We have to go, but I have just, just one final question, which is to say, um, let's say you're, you're on vacation and everyone says you shouldn't look at your email, you shouldn't do all this stuff. Right. I have like withdrawal symptoms that I think are more painful than the just actual, keeping, than just keep, keep going. Touch. That's why I love skiing. Because you, you're sort of in, I kept it in the zippered pocket, and then you and you're go not, right on the, yeah. You're not the only one that says that. It, it, people right. like it when it, the, the environment forces their connection away from them. Right. Instead of making the decision to get that connection away from them, right. they want the external world to take it away from them. We need to make better decisions about our vacations and our life than that. Steve, thank you. Thanks, Becky. Thanks for having me. The Wire. The Wire. Binge the Wire.